Hi, I'm Congressman Scott Perry. At the beginning of each week the Congress is in session, I send out a brief update about the bills the House of Representatives likely will consider. This week we'll consider H.R. 180, the National Blue Alert Act of 2013, which would establish a national blue alert communications network within the Department of Justice to disseminate information when a law enforcement officer is seriously injured or killed in the line of duty in coordination with federal, state, and local blue alert plans. We'll also consider H.R. 1580, which would affirm the policy of the United States regarding Internet governance. This bill strongly opposes the United Nations' efforts to regulate the Internet. In addition, we'll vote on Senate Concurrent Resolution 10, which authorizes the use of Emancipation Hall in the Capitol Visitor Center for an event to celebrate the, the birthday of King Kamehameha of Hawaii. We'll also consider H.R. 701, which amends a provision of the Securities Act of 1933, directing the Securities and Exchange Commission to add a particular class of securities to those exempted under the Securities Act. The House will consider H.R. 384, the Homes of Heroes Act of 2013. The bill amends the Department of Housing and Urban Development Act to establish a HUD Special Assistant for Veterans Affairs who will ensure veterans have fair access to HUD housing and homeless assistance programs. It also coordinates all HUD programs and activities relating to veterans and creates a HUD liaison within the Department of Veterans Affairs. We'll also vote on H.R. 365, the Hill Creek Cultural Preservation and Energy, Energy Development Act. This bill authorizes Utah to relinquish some of its school trust or subsurface mineral lands south of the border between Grand County and Yinta County, Utah, in exchange for certain federal subsurface mineral lands north of that border for the benefit of the Ute Indian tribe. We'll consider H.R. 767, which will amend the Energy Policy Act of 2005 to modify the pilot project offices of the Federal Permit Streamlining Pilot Project. Well, that's a mouthful. The bill amends the Energy Policy Act of 2005 to replace the Miles City, Montana field office with Montana slash Dakota's state office. We'll also vote on H.R. 573 which amends Public Law 93-435 to provide parity for the Northern Mariana Islands with Guam, the Virgin Islands, and American Samoa. This bill conveys to the government of the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands that submerged lands surrounding the islands and extending three geographical miles outward from their coast coastlines will be included among the islands where, they, where the president... Uh, yeah. All right, start again. We'll vote on H.R. 573, which amends Public Law 93-435 to provide parity for the Northern Mariana Islands with Guam, the Virgin Islands, and American Samoa. This bill conveys the government of the Commonwealth of Northern Mariana Islands that submerged lands surrounding the islands and extending three geographical miles outward from their coastlines will be included among the islands where the president may establish naval defensive sea areas, and airspace reservations when necessary for national defense. We'll also consider H.R. 45, which repeals the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act and health care related provisions in the Health Care and Education Reconciliation Act of 2010. The President's health care law is a train wreck for hardworking Americans, increasing costs, stifling medical innovation, and slowing hiring. This week, the House will vote to repeal the law because hardworking Taxpayers need the right kind of reform that lowers costs, improves the quality of care, and projects, protects jobs. And finally, we'll consider H.R. 1062, the SEC Regulatory Accountability Act. This bill requires the Securities and Exchange Commission, before issuing a regulation under the securities law, to justify the rationale for issuing such regulation. If you have any questions, as always, or if I can be of assistance to you or your family in any way, please contact me at perry.house.gov. That's perry.house.gov. Again, I'm Scott Perry, and I hope you have a fantastic week.